teaching the brothers the color of Christ. Y'all probably know this, right? But I'm gonna deal with these brothers real quick, all right? Y'all stay, listen, listen. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now stop. Just so there's never any confusion, right? Who, which one of these signs has hair that is white as wool and woolly in texture? Which one of these signs has that? This one, right? All oh, praises. We know this is a strike on this one right here. This man right here. Strike. Read. That's white as snow. It's white as snow. So he had white hair on top, right? And a white beard, right? Woolly in texture. Who on earth has woolly texture hair? Black people, Black people right? When you look at certain encyclopedias and dictionaries, uh, nappy or woolly Negro hair. That's what the uh, that's what the, the rich white men don't want y'all to know. That y'all are really the children of God. Big bro, what's your name? Keith. Come here, 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 the Bible got a message for y'all. Y'all know what the sin is? What is sin? Give me your definition of sin. What is, what is sin? A sin is an action against It's an action against the word of God. I like that. What about you? Something against God. Something against God. Okay, watch this. We're going to read what the Bible says. Y'all watch this. Watch this. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Hey, my brothers. My brothers. We're going over what is sin. We're going over what is sin right now. My brothers, come on. Watch this read. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Y'all brothers paying attention? Y'all brothers paying attention? Hold on, bro. Hold on. Go, go grab them real quick. Come right back. Hey, my brother, what you said was on point. My brother, what you said was on point. Watch this. Read that again. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, we know that sin is the transgression of the law. Deuteronomy 4, verse 44. Now, who was the law given to? Who was the laws of God given to? His children. His children. Who was his children today? Right. The children of Israel. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, and verse 44. Read. Oh. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. Boom. So there you go. So guess what? As the children of Israel, we have things that we're supposed to be doing. Right. Y'all have things that y'all not supposed to be doing. Right. Go back to Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. Watch this. The Bible speaking to y'all. Read. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Come on. Oh, my son, if sinners entice thee, stop. Y'all paying attention? It said what? My son if what? what? My son if what? See? See? I got you. What did it say? Read it again. Read. Read. Slow it down. My son. My son. The Bible's talking to y'all. Y'all are the sons of Israel. Read. If sinners entice thee. What's a sinner? What's a sinner? Somebody that what transgresses against God's law. If sinners entice you, what does it sound like? Peer pressure. Right. Peer pressure right here in the Bible. Right. The Bible's speaking to you. Read. Right. Consent thou not. Don't do it. Say hell no. Right. If, if a brother come to you and say, bro, light this weed up. Right. Come, come with me and come rob somebody. Let's go hit a lick. Right. You see that brother right there? That's the out. Let's go whoop his ass. Don't do it. Right. The Bible say, consent thou not. Read. If they say, come with us. Let us lie wait for blood. Guess what that is? You setting up an ambush for another brother that looked just like you. So, right. A setup to rob him, to steal him, stick. might be even to kill him. Right. A stick up. All these things that are, that are portrayed in the music that y'all listen to. What kind of music you, who you listen to? Right. 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 That's what he, I don't listen to. You don't listen to? Oh, how about you? How about you? What kind of music you listen to? Oh, you young boy, young boy, NBA, young boy, you understand? Little Rosie Brown. Uh, what's up, Playboy? Playboy? Y'all listen to that? Young Nudie? Young Nudie? Young Nudie? Young Nudie? You listen to Lil Nudie? Alright, watch this. Read, read what you got. Read it again. 
If they say, come with us. Come with us, brothers. If they say, come with us. Come with us to do what? Read. Let us lay wait for blood. Read. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? This is a setup in the Bible. This is talking to y'all. Saying, guess what? Don't follow after that negative peer pressure. Don't do what another brother is enticing you to do. That's a sinner. That's going to end you up where? In jail. Right. In prison. Right. Or dead. Right. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all got your own life ahead of y'all. Right. Y'all supposed to be keeping the commandments of God as an Israelite. Right. Y'all understand that? Israel means prince that has power with God and with men. Jesus. We suppose we the only ones that can serve God. We the only ones that can call upon God and he hear our prayers when we not in sin. Jesus. Read what you got. Verse 15, my son, walk not thou in the way with them. Don't walk in the ways of them. If you see that man got the slim gym, he get ready to pick the lock on the car, don't stand there and be his lookout. Say, brother, hell no, you ain't supposed to do that. That's not, that's against the law. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If y'all see a brother and you see he get ready to, uh, what you call it again? Uh, a, a sticker. A sticker. The brother show you, the brother show you the, the snub nose 38 with the serial number rubbed off. You're supposed to be like, nah, bro, I ain't want nothing to do with that. I'm trying to go to school. I'm trying to make something of myself. Y'all see what I'm saying? Come on. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Uh -huh. Refrain thy foot from their path. You see that? The Bible is repetitive. It's telling you, don't walk after their path. Because their path is going to end you up in jail, bro. Or, or worse, kill. And guess what? Another mother. Another mother with an R.I.P. Pookie shirt on. Another mother with an R.I.P. Ray Ray. Y'all like, see it in the hood constantly. But what that shirt don't tell you is they was doing evil. Right. They was doing evil. Right. And God said, enough. Judgment. Judgment. Come on, bring it out. Verse 16. For their feet run to evil. Read. And make haste to shed blood. You see that? Y'all brothers can't be like that. You can't be quick to run to evil. You got you can't be quick to shed blood. Because guess what? My brother right here. What's your name? Debo. If your feet run to evil and it's quick to shed blood, nine times out of ten, whose blood are you going to be shedding? Your own brother. Your own brother that looked like you. Watch this. Come on. You can, you can drop that. Come Y'all brothers, check this out. Look at this sign right here. What do y'all see how it that on this sign? This sign right here comprises of the 12 tribes of Israel. God's chosen people. Where y'all see y'all still at? Mainly number one, right? Judah, American black, right? Y'all come back in the see. Hebrews 7, 14. Now, with y'all knowing that y'all from the tribe of Judah, who else that's important in history came from the tribe of Judah? Wake them up. Who else in history came from the tribe of Judah? Who? Jesus. No, but what covenant is Jesus? If Jesus, if Jesus came from the tribe of Judah, what color is Jesus? He black? What you think? I think he black. You think he black? What you think? Black? You think he black? All right, so majority rule. Now watch this. I'm going to prove to y'all that Jesus the Christ came from the tribe of Judah. It was something in the Bible. I read something before. It was like um, something about the hair, like the material of his hair, like wool. Or uh -huh. not, not wool, but like copper. Uh -huh. And like this, the color of his skin and stuff. Like, I remember what I read. Uh -huh. like, I just can't get the words off. Like, I know it was details about how, like, so you, read, like yeah. so you read the Bible. Yeah. We're going to get it. I'm going to clarify it for you. All right? I'm going to clarify it for you. I'm going to clarify it for all y'all. Read what you got. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Come it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who's our Lord? Who's our Lord? Jesus. Jesus the uh, Christ. Right. So don't ever let nobody tell you or show you a picture or a movie saying that this is Jesus and he a white man. Right. Mel Gibson. That's not Jesus. Right. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. Right. If, Jesus, if Jesus was here today in America, guess what? He'll be treated just like a nigga. Right. Treated just like a nigga. Now I'm going to clarify for you what Jesus looked like. Revelations 1. Read verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Come yeah. out. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So John the Revelator, right? He was shown, Christ showed himself to John the Revelator, right? right? When he said a revelation to reveal, right? Christ revealed himself unto John. 
And guess what? Only to his servants. Who's God's servants? I said it earlier. Only the children of Israel That's can be right. God's servants. Uh, right. No other nation can be God's servants. Right. Jump to the point. Verse 14. Watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, stop. Let me get over here. Let me get over here. Y'all move. Y'all migrate over this side. This side right here. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. How you doing, my sister? My sister with the pink hair, uh, bandana. And my brother. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, perfect timing. I'm teaching the brothers the color of Christ. Y'all probably know this, right? But I'm going to deal with these brothers real quick, all right? Y'all stay. Listen, listen. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now, stop. Just so there's never any confusion, right? Who, which one of these signs has hair that is white as wool and woolly in texture? Which one of these signs has that? This one, right? All right. oh, praises. We know this is a strike on this one right here. This man right here. Strike. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. So he had white hair on top, right? And a white beard, right? Woolly in texture. Who on earth has woolly texture hair? Black people, oh. right? When you look at certain encyclopedias or dictionaries, uh, nappy or woolly, Negro hair. Right. That's what the uh, that's what the, the rich white men don't want y'all to know. That y'all are really the children of God. Right. Y'all are God's chosen people. Right. But we don't conduct ourselves as such. Right. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So what was Christ's first miracle for my reader? What was Christ's first miracle? He cured somebody outside? Nah, that wasn't the first one. Good try though. I like that. He turned water into wine. <laughs> was a wine bibber right he liked to drink wine in moderation so that's why the whites of his eyes were red as a flame of fire just like y'all see y'all uncles or pops they drink a little bit the whites of the eyes get a little red y'all understand come on read on verse 15 uh -huh. and his feet like unto fine brass and his feet like unto what fine brass what color is brass brown brown, brown. I'm pretty sure if y'all take off y'all shoes and socks, y'all feet gonna be the same color as the rest of your body, right? That's right. But it gets better. Watch this. As if they burned in a furnace. So what color is Jesus the Christ? Black, oh, black. That's black, right. black, dark skin, bro. Dark, Jesus Christ is a black man. Y'all right. look just like him. Right. But guess what? In this neighborhood, if y'all don't know that, y'all treat y'all brother as what? An enemy, uh, an enemy. You won't see Christ in your brother. Right, right. Go, watch this, watch this, watch it, watch it. No. I got you, I got you. If Christ, if Jesus the Christ is black, what color is the Father? Black. 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 How we know? Have you read that? We gonna get it for you. We are gonna clarify it for you. Come on. The book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. Bring it out. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit. Whoa, whoa. It said the ancient of days. Who can be ancient? Who can be older than the day? Hold up, hold up. Who can be older than the day? The most high God. Jesus the Christ is dad. His father. Our heavenly father, the most high. That's the ancient of days. He created the day. Time don't affect him. Come on. And the ancient of days did sit. Read. Oh, 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 oh. So it's not a puff of smoke. Read that again. And the ancient of days did sit. So the Most High God has a body. Yes, right. The Most High God has a body. Don't let your grandmama tell you it's a puff of smoke, baby. Right. No, he's only a spirit. The Most High God has a body. Read. Right. Whose garment was white as snow. He got to have a body because he got on a garment. He got on a bad garment. Right. right? Not what we got on today, man. This, this, this is captivity wear right here. Right? right? This is FUBU. Right? Read on. And the hair of his head, uh oh, the hair of his head is getting ready to explain to y'all. Come on. Like the pure wool. Man, the most high God got the pure wool on oh, top of his head. Right. Untainted. Right. Untainted. No hot comb. No magic grow. Pure wool oh, on top right. of his head. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So the most, so Jesus the Christ and the most high God are black men.
Mission is family. Mission is community. Mission is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.